Good morning, it's Reverend Karen from the Preston Ribble Circuit. It's Friday the 25th of September and I wonder how you're feeling today. With the latest government restrictions affecting all of our lives, it's easy to be filled with all kinds of negative emotions, which then further impacts on our well-being. I have a plaque from South Africa which says, it's not a work waiting for the storm to pass, but learning to dance in the rain. It's a good saying, but how? How do we learn to dance in the rain? I've been reading the Psalms from the Bible where you can find all sorts of lament, pain and anguish expressed openly and honestly. Yet somehow, the psalmist always ends up positively offering praise and expressing his trust in God, a sign of hope. Hope is what gives the motivation and desire to dance in the rain. For Christians, hope is found in the Bible. Hope causes us not to get discouraged, not to give up, because we have something to keep going for. Some verses from Philippians chapter 1 and 3 give us encouragement. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenwards in Christ Jesus. There is so much more we can find in the Bible to give us hope. I wonder what your relationship with the Bible is. I say relationship because reading the Bible is about connecting with God, having a relationship with the scriptures, that makes a difference to your life. Corrie ten Boom said that the scriptures are love letters from God. The scriptures, the Bible, records through centuries the lives of God's people and how they dealt with the stuff of life, both the positive things and the negative things. It depicts how others have endured and it communicates God's presence with them in all situations. The Bible reveals God's character and nature, and most importantly, the hope that can be found in a relationship with God. Jesus is the revelation of God, the living word. God's word lived out among humanity. Emmanuel, God with us. I'd like to share with you a paraphrase of a few verses from 1 Peter 1 verses 3 to 5, from the message verse, version of the Bible. What a God we have, and how fortunate we are to have him, this father of our master Jesus. Because Jesus was raised from the dead, we've been given a brand new life and have everything to live for, including a future in heaven. And the future starts now. God is keeping careful watch over us and the future. The day is coming when you'll have it all, life healed and whole. The word of God speaks encouragement to us, the hope with and within us. If you don't have a relationship with the Bible, start by reading Mark's Gospel in the New Testament. There you will find someone to place your hope and trust in, who has the power to transform your life so you too can dance in the rain. The psalm I mentioned earlier, Psalm 119, is the longest psalm and the longest chapter in the Bible. The psalm is an acrostic, with each verse beginning with a different letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Each verse is about meditating on scriptures, on God's word. You may like to meditate on the word hope, 
and see if you can write a poem or an acrostic. Expressing yourself, maybe withdrawing, is another way. Express what hope means to you. It would be great if you could post anything you do in the comments box of this post. In this way, your meditations can be shared with others. So let's bless one another with hope today. We'll close our time together in prayer. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we praise you that even in the darkest of circumstances and the lowest mood we find ourselves in, you are there. You have told us that you will be with us always, which is a hope we can believe in and trust. Thank you for your word in which we find how others have encountered you in their darkest moments and found hope, which has expressed itself ultimately as joy, knowing how deeply loved they are. Thank you that you loved us enough to send your only son, Jesus, to come and rescue and to reveal your loving nature to us. Thank you that there is nothing in this world or the next that can ever separate us from your love. In you, Jesus, we can have hope. Hope for now and hope for the future because you have conquered death and risen from the grave to enable us to have an eternal relationship with God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Praise be to God. Amen. Go and dance in the rain with hope in your hearts. Have a good day. God bless.